<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're about to start season three, episode one of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I just finished season two and the bloopers for season two, which season two was by far better than season one, and the bloopers were absolutely hilarious. Um it sucked there was only only one blooper reel with uh, Danny DeVito, so hopefully after season two we'll get a couple more of him. I'm assuming he's just a little bit harder when it comes to breaking character. He's a little he's been doing this a lot longer than the other guys. Um <clears throat> But let's go ahead and dive into season three. I'm excited. Let's go. Convenient truth is not about the end of the world. It is about how if we don't stop global warming, we are going to destroy this environment. I think it sounds cool. I'll check it out. It is. It's awesome. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, come on. What the hell is that? What? Are you kidding me? What is the big deal, Dennis? What is the big deal? Are you nuts? It's like you see a movie and now you're crazy about the environment. Oh, I'm sorry, Dee. Maybe I would actually like to do some good in this world. Maybe I would like to make a difference. Oh, you I feel like Dennis doesn't want to make any difference in this world that's good. <laughs> good? No, you just screw people over for your own benefit. Oh, you guys are gonna be so angry when you look back and you see that the world looks at Dennis Reynolds and says, Dennis, you are a good person. You are making a... Holy shit. What? There's a baby in this dumpster. <laughs> what? Gang finds a dumpster baby. <laughs> All right, so, there's gonna be something to do with a baby. And Dennis is gonna try and save the world, I'm assuming, from litter. Let's see what happens. <laughs> what the hell is this baby? Doing? Call somebody. Who? The police? The mother? I mean, think, D. somebody threw this baby in the trash. We can't just put it back into the system. It is a terrible system. It's a horrible system. We live in a throwaway culture where everyone's just looking for the easy way out. I mean, you don't wanna carry your big gulp anymore? Just throw it in the street. You don't wanna take care of your baby anymore? Throw it in a dumpster. <laughs> I just can't take it. Tell you, Harper. That's called Harper. Sorry, I'd like to know whether or not I share a bed with my father. I'm telling you, I am not. That's right, I forgot about that. Take a stupid blood I'm not taking no blood test. It's so easy. Look, I had enough of this. I'm not even going to talk about it. What the hell is that? It's a baby we found in the trash. Well, put it back. It doesn't belong to you. Put it back. A baby back in the trash. Get it to the cops. Get it out of here. It's bad for business. Oh, that's great, Frank. Pass the buck. Just passing the Everybody passing the buck. You know, it's time we started taking responsibility for the refuse. Is Dennis going to try and raise this kid? dude. Are you still harping on that stupid global heating movie you saw? Global warming, Charlie. Yeah, right. Like, the earth is magically getting hotter. All right, stop. <laughs> Clearly, this is not the right environment for a child. I will take care of the dumpster baby until we figure out oh, what to God. do with it. Dee, you're helping me. What? No, I'm not. You see what's happening here? Do you see this? Family values in this country are going down the toilet, and it's because of people like you. Men and women, raising a child together is a proven system a thousand years old. There are parental roles that need to be filled here, right? Otherwise, the kid winds up roaming the streets, having unprotected sex oh. with multiple partners, mm -hmm. sharing needles, and contracting the HIV virus, Ugh. and it's all your fault. Are you happy, D? Is this what you wanted? You just gave this baby full-blown AIDS. <laughs> Charlie's face. <laughs> We're doing dumpster diving. What the hell are these scrubs doing, dude? They're activists, Charlie. They're sifting through activists. the trash looking for recyclable materials. Recycling? What a waste. Frank, we are trying to make a difference. We? You see, he has no problem not calling me dad. Uh, hey, man. Where can I get one of those recycled bags? Get lost, narc. narc. Excuse me? What we're doing is completely legal, so why don't you just leave us alone? Oh, no, I'm not a cop, man. I just want to help out. <laughs> sure you do. I saw you pull up in that Range Rover. Is everything okay, Sage? Yeah, no, everything's fine. I was just explaining to your friend that I, I want to help you guys out. Listen, bro, I know you're tight. Straight edge, mainline, weekend warrior coming down here in your cashmere sweater with your moosed up hair sprayed cloth. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't just a hobby for us. So why don't you take your phony, suburban, half-ass bullshit someplace else? Damn, you just put Dennis in his place. He doesn't know how to respond. I'll take that, hippie. <laughs> Frank's just gonna beat up everyone to get what he wants. Is that like a, it's a big ass sword? From Aladdin. Charlie, Charlie, get down! Ah, there's a 
amazing. Look at this. Bro, you could chop a camel right in the hump and drink all of its milk right, right <laughs> off the tip of this thing. That is Bro, you can This is an Alibaba sword. Alibaba sword. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Look, Dennis. Dude, look, Dennis look at this. I don't look care that. about it's that, all right? Like you guys are making me look like an asshole. I'm out here trying to make a difference, and you're over here rummaging around in the trash like a couple of narcs. Okay? You can't just come down here with your mainline cashmere moose quaff <laughs> hairspray <laughs> and start being like a suburban tool. That guy really screwed with his head. <laughs> what are you, are you saying, man? Did you even look at this? I, I don't know. I think I just got punked out by a couple of hippies. I gotta do something about this. Oh, no. God damn, this dumpster baby's heavy. No, no, it's good for your back. All right, so we got the <laughs> diapers good. and the wipes and the powder. Shit, this raising babies is easy, huh? Huh? Okay, I think first things first, the baby smells like trash, right? Huh? Throw it in the bath. Already with this? I didn't do it. Already with this? I didn't do anything. I come home to a crying baby? <laughs> No, I didn't Jesus do anything. Christ. It's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna kick back, grab a beer, and watch the Sixers, all right? <laughs> you're not gonna help me? I thought you wanted me to do this uh, with you. Would it kill you to go shopping every once in a while? Just grab a beer. Oh, we are? Skittles. No, we're not out of anything, Matt, because you don't live Wait. here. Wait. One left. Nice. Great. Hey, if we're gonna raise this baby together, I think it's important that we at least try to make it work. So when you're done with the bath, why don't you go out and get some beer? And, um... A pack of smokes would be good. Okay, we're not gonna raise anything together. Mm. You know why? Because I said I would help you hang on to this dumpster baby for a couple of days mm. until we figure out what else to do with it. Really? Yes. You're gonna raise your voice to me right now? I'm not raising my voice. Well, I'm trying to have a rational conversation. I feel like you're berating me for absolutely no reason. What? So you know what? For the sake His of the emotions just stay, changed like 15 okay. times. I I have to stay. For the sake of dumpster baby, but I will tell you what, I'm not gonna stand here and be berated. I'm gonna oh. What is happening? <laughs> it just went through like several different bases. <laughs> Charlie, would you just please lay there and go to sleep? I can't sleep, dude. It's impossible. My mind's going like a mile a minute here. Well, stop thinking about it. I'm not your father. No. Now go to sleep. Dude, it's not that. I'm thinking about something completely different. It's the trash, isn't it's it? It's the sweet, <laughs> sweet trash. I mean, man, we found some amazing shit out there today. I mean, the kind of shit I, I didn't think you could find in the trash, you know? And uh, I'm just going nuts thinking about what else is out there. Yeah, Frank, there's ordinary guys just like you and me they going through everyone else's it. trash. Oh, don't people don't appreciate it. their trash, Frank. Let's go get the flashlights. Oh, my God. So they're going to spend the whole so episode collecting trash. This, tree. I mean, this is a big tree, too, right? I get to the top oh, of it. I find the nest. This is, this is baby bluebirds. They're starving to death. So I regurgitate my lunch. And I nourish the entire <laughs> flock. Well, like... well, well. Check it out, babe. The narc is back. <laughs> hey, uh, Sage, I thought about what you said, and I think you were right, man. I was half-assing it, but I'm not going to half-ass it anymore. I'm going to devote myself completely to the cause. Look, bro, just because you come in here with your Birkenstocks and your fish t-shirt doesn't mean you're devoted. <laughs> it means you're a total poser. Wow. Um... You know what, man? Uh, I'm just gonna go then, I guess. You know, I'll take my Birkenstocks and my fish t-shirt and my kind bud with me. What? No, did you just say you had kind bud? That marijuana? Kind bud? Yeah, I mean, you know, I just have, like, this much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sewing his way into the group. Put this in a plastic bag and boom, shower radio, buddy. Look at this. We wrap stuff in this. Wrap it all up. Electrics? Electrics? Whoa! A sneaker. What size? 14. Throw it in the pile, baby. Big shoe. Oh, Charlie, isn't this great? We go right to the source. Forget oh, about the so dump. Yeah, screw the dump, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's right in your backyard, dude. This is it. What's that? What's that? What's that? It's another coat, man. Oh, can I have it? <laughs> no. Well, you already got one. Frank, use your head. This is the coat that's going to protect my other coat. <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> oh, when you're right, you're right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You'll find one. If you keep digging, you're going to find one of these. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, hey, it's oh, Waitress. Hello. Still don't know her name. Who it is, huh? The girl who ruined my life. I've fallen in love with my best friend and having sex with this guy right here. <laughs> having sex How you with doing? this guy. <laughs> gross. And gross to you. And you know what? I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to know. Go and do it in somebody else's uh, dumpster, okay? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. What do you got in those? Coffee cups and food scraps. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we'll take them. Take them. Hand them over. <laughs> 
know why it's cranky, okay? Well, maybe he's hungry, all right? What are your thoughts on nursing it? I haven't slept in three days. I don't have any thoughts anymore. <sighs> you know, raising a child is not nearly as fun as I thought it'd be. Well, what Tired if work. we put it back where we found it? Oh. Are they actually gonna... Oh my God, that is the cutest little baby I've ever seen. What's his name? Uh, his name it's... is... D.B. D.B.? <laughs> Oh, he could be a Gerber baby. Is that Danny DeVito's daughter? I have an idea. I'm three steps ahead of you. We need to make Dumpster Baby a star. Exactly. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We can't just put it back into a corrupt no. system. We have an opportunity to give it a real future yes, here. Yes, by making it a star. And who have better lives than if it is, it's cool. Nobody. It's Nobody. Rich, famous, they have it all. Oh my god, they're the happiest people on earth. DB, my main man, you got tossed into the right dumpster. <laughs> I don't think they did. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, I don't think I'm not going to waste any more of your time than I have to. We've got meetings with agents all over town. Can you make DB a star? Well, I'm sorry to say, but in today's commercial world, there's just no room for another white baby actor. There's an influx already. Question, who is selling, Brenda? Well, the Latino market is the fastest growing demographic in the country. Great. So Mexicans are selling. Oh, well, DB can play Mexican. Yeah. DB could definitely be a Mexican. <laughs> well, we get him some pistols. He fires them off like crazy. He do, do the jumping thing. Do the jump. He Watch does this. a Mexican jumping beam. <laughs> we get him a little thing with his chips, 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 chips. And he can dip chip the chips hat? into the nacho it's cheese. Perfect. It's hilarious. It's perfect. For all we know, he is Mexican. Because here's the thing. Oh, 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 we've got, oh, oh I, look, I, I can't really get into the specifics of the whole thing, but we've got no idea who DB's dad. I don't know. <laughs> it isn't me. I'm no, I mean, sorry, I but your no, son just does not look Latino. Oh, well, I mean, that, it's a bit of a disappointment That's, for us. Me I mean, sad. Yeah, because we're truly <laughs> trying to Jeez, give him a horrible. future. Is there anything that we can do? Well, not unless you can change the color of this baby's skin. Let me get this oh straight. You want to put your God. baby he into is, a tanning bed. Looks like a carrot. That's correct. I'm sorry, that's against the law. Look, pal, we are well aware <laughs> of the law. Okay, we don't want to jam you up here. We just want to put him in there for a couple of minutes. Just to get a base. Just this to get a base. <laughs> we'll sign whatever waivers or whatever you need us to do. So let us cook him for a couple of minutes and we'll be out of your hair. I'm feeling compelled to call the authorities. Oh, are you? Well, then why don't we take our business elsewhere? I sense some judgment in your voice, sir, and I don't appreciate it. You could have helped change this child's life forever. You chose not to. That's on you. I can live with that. Come on, DB. I guess the road to stardom is paved with hard knocks and orange assholes. <laughs> he is orange. <laughs> These are people, too. Save this tree. These developer These pigs too. are going to tear down. So tonight, we will hold a candlelight vigil in protest. A candlelight vigil. We commune for a moment? Yeah, what's up? Well, listen, I don't want to be putting out any negative vibrations or anything like that, but uh, I think we're going about this the wrong way. Thanks, but uh, we got it. Okay, why don't we hear him out, Sage? Thanks, Ezreal. His plan's Listen, working. Whatever he's doing, well, his plan's working. I think lighting a couple of candles and singing a few sweet jams sounds like a really good time. It's not going to stop a bulldozer. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to step up and be a hero here. So I'm thinking I would chain myself to that tree. And that way, if they want to kill that tree, they got to kill me first. That is so brave of you, Dennis. Is it? <laughs> Wait, if is anyone it? is going to chain themselves to anything, it's going to be me. But it was Dennis's idea. No, wait, Azriel, he's right. Maybe it should be him. Right. I'm the one in charge here. Right, you're the one in charge. Right. 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 Is... Go get some chains. No, wait. Dude, Hold off on that. Something devious here. I brought some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got to stop. we got to stop. Two more stops. No, I think we've got to go drop it off at base camp. No, no, no. Let's go. No. we got to keep it moving, Frank. Charlie, maybe we should get rid of some of this oh shit. What? God. Yeah. What'd you say? Get rid of it? Yeah. Frank, look at this. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this, this, look at that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This, this shit is our future, man. Like People are just doing this away. Get like rid a... of it, dude. Frank, we start getting rid of this, we're going to be just like the wasters out there. Hey, hey, hey. guess what? Somebody <laughs> else is going to find you. You're right, you're right, you're right. Where are we going to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You sure you still want to do this? 
Mountain, this is what it's all about. Me and my girl, side by side, saving a life, bringing in the dawn together. I mean, come on. It looks like it's gonna rain. It does look like it's gonna rain. Yeah, all his buddies look like they it's just them two. No. I wonder where she is. Tonight, we cross the plane of reality into the dimension of no place. So he's about to bang his girlfriend. Become the journey. So this is a way to get back at him for what he said to him. <laughs> he ruins his life. <laughs> Bangs his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not above that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? This is amazing. Phase. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Can you get a boy left, dude? Yeah. I'm starving. Charlie, I'm really sorry that I banged your girl. Ah, oh, bro, you gotta stop talking uh, about that, dude. I'm also sorry that I didn't get the blood test, but I know I'm 100% positive that I am not your dad. Dude, how can you be 100% positive, dude? But she had an abortion. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe well, are you not... sure she went through with it, dude? Because maybe she didn't tell you. I mean, she probably went right from the clinic and banged some guy and got knocked up <laughs> because your mother was a giant whore. Oh. doesn't know the truth. I knew it. All right, you didn't have an abortion. You just told him you did. I get that. No, I had an abortion. It just didn't take. What? <laughs> what does that mean? It means you survived it. You survived the abortion. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Holy huh? Crap. We went to one of those clinics, one of those underground clinics, <laughs> because Frank didn't want to spend a lot of money. Yeah. And I had the procedure, and then they told me you were dead. Okay. And then three months later, you popped out, happy as a clam. Oh my God. <laughs> Sweetie, I had oh, a secret from Frank. I never wanted the abortion in the first place, but he was married, and I knew if he found out, it would have forced me to get rid of you once and for all. He would have made me throw you in a dumpster. Oh my What's he thinking? God. Nope, his skin needs to be darker, D. Yeah, I know. We're just gonna paint this bronzing lotion on him. Shoe polish. Shoe polish? Shoe polish. Shoe polish on a baby? You're such an idiot. Isn't That's gonna look stupid polish, and smell like shit. We'll see. Carcinogenic. Where's DB? <laughs> My door's open. Put it on a baby. Did you get kidnapped? Somebody came in and took him? There's a note. There's a note. Take it, baby. Meet at later bar, night or day, sometime. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> Charlie your baby. eyes on this! Oh my god, Charlie, where did you get a baby? Oh, I think you know good and well where I got this baby now, don't you? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about you and Frank! Phone your love child here in the dumpster behind Patty's pub. What do you think I'm gonna find out? Well, I did. Yeah. I yeah. What you might not know though is that this little baby of yours also happens yeah. to be my half brother. It's hard to believe. That's Charlie, true. the incident with Frank happened three months ago. Yeah. It takes nine months to make a baby, <laughs> so you can just give me the baby and stop screaming. You know, there was a time where I would help you raise this little dumpster baby brother of mine like a son, but that's gone now because you ruined it. You threw your babies away, and you threw your swords away. You threw your golf clubs and your tasty treats. And you know what? I found them. And I'm gonna raise all of them. <laughs> Give me the number for child services. Hey, Sage, buddy, how are you, man? Uh, how are you feeling? I did. I, I saved the tree. <laughs> you sure did, man. 
You saved that tree. Wow, I gotta say, man, I'm really impressed. I don't think I could have done what you did here today. I'm a hero. You are? You're a hero. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come with me. Man, it is a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be alive, isn't it? There's no one there protecting the tree anymore. Okay, guys. She's all yours. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's gonna have him destroy the tree. He just destroyed this well, guy. Let's see this. I banged your girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god. What does that mean? I don't know. Hey, you know you guys seen that Alibaba sword that Charlie had? What? The little shit dumped me in a dumpster last night. And I'm taking all this stuff. It's every man for himself. I gotta find another Alibaba sword. Pour me a shot there, D. I am the man. Are you so chipper? Well, I got punked out by this peace activist. So what I did is I infiltrated his organization. I banged his girlfriend. Hey, <laughs> you recognize this young man right here? Or should I say, hey, Dad? Yeah, that's right, everybody. Who would like to hear a mind-blowing story? Nobody. Give us back our baby so we can paint it. Oh, you're gonna paint it, huh? Well, be careful painting it, because you'll be painting my brother. <laughs> but I guess you already <laughs> knew that, didn't you, Dad? What the hell are you talking about, Charlie? I'm talking about you and the waitress dumping your baby in a dumpster and the abortion that you tried to make my mom have. Well, guess what, Frankie? It didn't take. I'm an abortion survivor, Dad. I survived the abortion, Dad. Dad. First of all, it takes nine months to have a baby. That is not my baby. Second of all, <laughs> oh your mother is feeding you a line of crap. Holy shit, you guys I... kept the Alibaba sword? Give me a sword. Give <laughs> me some sword. I want it. Back off, man. Give me a sword. Oh, that's my sword. Give me a sword. It's my sword, it's my sword. sword anyway. Hey, Stop no, laughing. Just make the sword. It's it's <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, there's something I want to check. <clears throat> uh, guys, I think that's severe carcinogenic profiles have been removed from most formulations. So I wonder, I don't know, maybe. Uh, during this time period, shoe polish still was carcinogenic, but I remember that being a thing. And if it is, they're putting it on that poor child. <laughs> oh my god, that was a crazy episode. That one was really good. Loved it. I can't wait for the next episode. Season. This is season three. Um, so far, off to a really good start. Gotta say, the uh, season two ending was fantastic. Finding out Charlie and Frank might be related, and now that's bringing over into this one. Um, <clears throat> something I've noticed is. Like, with the waitress, we're not going to find out her name. It doesn't look like we're going to find out her name. At least so far, we haven't. I've gone through two seasons. I'm on the third season. Still don't know her name. She's been in there since the first episode, season one. Um, <clears throat> so I wonder if this, if we're ever going to find that out. Same with them two, if we're ever going to actually find out if they're related or if they're going to drag that on. So I'm curious to see where, like, those two things and as well as other things lead throughout the show. But great episode. Going to get started on the next one. Uh, I'm also going to start Fallout here, the TV series, soon. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to probably only do one episode of that each week, probably on the weekend. Um, but just to let you know, uh, until next time, guys, take care.